Okay, now we turn to the uh, governance reform. We already had uh, last year at our uh, physical network meeting in Trinidad Tobago the opportunity uh, to look into this. But uh, for those who have not um, attended uh, this uh, meeting, just a short update. After uh, we had finalized um, our work on the um, strategy towards uh, 2020, a water se secure world, at the beginning of last year, we have very actively embarked on the uh, uh, rather long overdue governance reform review process, which had been um, in particular asked to take place uh, by our financing partners, including, as we agreed in Port of Spain, the uh, financing review. But I will here uh, mainly focus on the uh, governance review. The scope of this review by the consultants uh, whom we had engaged uh, last year was how could the governance and organizational structures of the uh, GWP network and the uh, GWP organization better respond to the emerging global challenges within the context of GWP's strategy 2020, but also beyond. What has not been included in this part of the review is uh, the regional and country level governance, and it did not look into the operational structure within the uh, GWP organization or the interactive operational structures between GWPO and the GWP network. This is something for the future, so to speak. What has happened so far? First, we have uh, had a very intensive discussion on the uh, uh, report of the consultants uh, being presented during our steering committee meeting in Budapest, November last year. It was agreed and so happened uh, to establish a governance task force, which has met in the meantime twice in um, March. Uh, it was a distance communication, a virtual meeting, and end of April in Paris where the uh, task force members came all together looking into areas of priority. I would name it like um, the chair of our chairs from the Caribbean, uh, Judy Daniel has said, let's focus on low-hanging fruits. This means we have uh, uh, in particular focused on the uh, uh, composition of a steering committee with a more um, and a broader regional representation than uh, we do have this at the moment. We have also looked in the terms of reference for the uh, uh, chair of the technical committee, um, this uh, being a rather urgent issue as uh, the chair of our technical committee, Dr. Mohamed Ahed Kadi, will uh, finish his second term uh, in September this year and uh, this uh, position really needs uh, a replacement rather soon. In the uh, second task force meeting end of April, the uh, proposal for a new composition of a steering committee and uh, the uh, relevant auxiliary processes has been finalized and uh, we had an initial discussion uh, which uh, uh, um, on uh, also uh, uh, on the terms of reference of the executive secretary and uh, the uh, chair positions. What will now be the next steps? As we have this week the uh, meeting of our steering committee, we will uh, present the uh, proposals for the uh, new steering committee composition and the ancillary nomination processes to the uh, steering committee members for their decision. After that, 
we will present the final proposal for the uh, new steering committee composition and the uh, relevant uh, ancillary nomination processes to the sponsoring partners for their approval because it has to go through this uh, process of our um, important statutory fora. Then uh, we have to further, and this will also happen during this week, uh, develop the terms of reference for the executive secretary and the chair, um, first by consulting the steering committee members and the sponsoring partners, and then uh, with a consultation in the network. So this is a process which uh, might um, need some more time. The uh, work so far carried out or under process or in progress is uh, then mainly focused on uh, uh, four of the um, seven recommendations and uh, the other recommendations related uh, to the governance reform um, will uh, move on. This is uh, one, um, the uh, recommendation number one is uh, related to, the, uh, to clarify GWP's strategic posture. This is uh, an ongoing uh, process in combination uh, with um, work on the other recommendations and um, a proposal on that will be made uh, to the uh, steering committee in uh, November this year. The other um, pending recommendation to be implemented in a way is recommendation for better knowledge of the uh, uh, GWP network. Um, we uh, have started a review of the GWP partners data database, which uh, began in March this year. And uh, we have uh, also in uh, this context started um, to have quarterly calls between the um, executive secretary here in headquarters and the head of the uh, um, national officers uh, with regional coordinators um, to discuss ongoing actions and issues. And then um, the other uh, recommendation related to um, improving the uh, way the technical committee um, is working. Um, this uh, uh, there, uh, the uh, um, um, consultants uh, engaged by our Danish uh, financing partner Danida has um, undertaken a review, an external review of a knowledge chain and the work of a technical committee and uh, we will um, uh, get uh, the final um, report on that rather soon and then further assess how to, to move on in order to uh, um, further strengthen the links between uh, um, what uh, uh, we are doing in, in headquarters, looking into our um, technical knowledge work and um, how to better um, bring on board the experience uh, from our partners on the ground, in particular in the country water partnerships. Finally, uh, a recommendation um, uh, we still f have to look into further is uh, to simplify the organizational structure. We will start a review on the um, structure of the um, uh, uh, GWPO, the Secretariat, in September and uh, then the uh, um, overall review of the uh, governance structures um, of uh, uh, GWPO um, will uh, begin in the following year, 2016. That means it is work in progress. We have um, a lot um, moving and um, with uh, all the support of our partners and uh, in particular uh, the support from the staff, I think we can uh, um, really live up to the uh, challenges in order to improve the governance uh, structure. Um, but it is not an easy process and um, we still have some way to go. But we do our best to move on as fast as possible to uh, really live up to the uh, standards uh, and, and to the um, um, objectives of ourselves and of our, f in particular, the financing partners. I will stop here and will now um, um, 
ask Rudolf uh, to join me here at the table. And uh, I think we are starting, or I get some other um, uh, instructions. Uh, we enter now in the questions and answers.